Hi, you guys. What's up? We are on night six of our social media revival. I suffered for this. I'm excited about the woman of God that is coming on on tonight. I'm excited. Eyes have not seen nor ears have heard what God wants to do in her and through her. I'm excited for the message that she's bringing on tonight. You guys come on in and begin to tag and share. God is amazing. He's mighty. He's faithful. He's powerful. And there is nobody like him. I don't know about you people of God, but I need a word from God. Come on. I don't know about you people of God, but when I tell you, listen, let me, oh Jesus, I'm going to wait till some more people get on before I give y'all this testimony. Come on. I see my sister Shanita just jumped on. Come on. I see my baby Katrina and just jumped on. Come on. I need y'all to begin to tag and share. Come on. The Bible says that where two or more are gathered, he is in the midst. God is amazing. God is faithful and he's willing to do. Watch this. Everything that people said, come on, couldn't be done. The great thing about God is all we got to do is put our trust in him. I need you to come in tagging and sharing like never before, people of God. Come on, I need you to push. Y'all already know I will not bring the woman of God on until I feel like everybody is on who's supposed to come on. So come on in and begin to tag and share. I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm so excited to hear the word of God. Let me tell you, um, this woman of God, people of God, inbox me. Don't know anything about me. Don't know me anything like that. Inbox me. Watch this. Told me something I was currently going through. Nobody knew I was experiencing that. Why? Because as leaders, we got to always be okay when we're not okay. But when she messaged me the other day and said the thing she said, oh my God, y'all don't even understand. I just broke down, down in Texas because she was so accurate. She was so accurate. I got just um, left from ministering um, inside the rehab center for women, a uh, drug rehab center for women down in Texas. People of God, and she blessed my whole soul. So I'm excited that she is coming on, on my platform on tonight. Trinette, I love you, sis. Go ahead and throw this in the group for me. Come on, shout out to you, Prophetess Pearson. Come on, I see that you are on. You guys come on in and begin to tag and share. What I am learning is we are in a season, people of God, where the leaders are suffering, where the first responders are suffering. What do you mean, Evangelist Shakira? The ones who are always first on the scene when everybody going through it. They're the ones who help with any, oh, Jesus Christ. They help with any and everything. They always are, are called on. They got to be the ones that help with everybody's situation. They be the first to show up on the scene. And even when they're having bad days, Come on, they don't even have time to break down. So I need you to begin to tag and share. I see Lakeisha is on. What's up? I love you so much. Come on, come on. I need y'all to push on tonight. I need you to push on. Let me tag a few people to this live also. Y'all just don't know that the quickest way to put a seed in the ground is simply by tagging and sharing. I tell y'all that every single time. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me tag some more of my help. To the live. Since y'all don't want to tag and share. Let me let me get my, my, my snipers out. In the spirit. Hold on. Let me let me tag all of them in very quickly. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, in, I'm, I'm inviting them to the live. Let me tag them. Because I know they're going to come in. Tagging and sharing like crazy. Just hold on. Just a few more people. Just a few more people. Let me just tag a few more people. Because I already know how these people finna do when they come on. How are you guys? Come on, just three more minutes. I need you to push. Come on, I see my bae Trinette is on. Come on, I see Prophet Clinton just jumped on. Come on, I see Pretty Diamond is on. Come on, what's up, sis? Come on, I see Alvita is on. Come on, push, y'all push. Come on, sometimes when you birthing out something, it requires a push. Come on, I need y'all to push right now. Come on, my people are jumping on. I see they jumping on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Invite, tag, and share. May the blessings of God run you down just for your obedience on tonight. Just for your obedience on tonight. See, the enemy don't like when we stand together. We are on night six. Night six, people of God. 
of our 25 night social media revival. I'm going to get ready to bring the woman of God on so I can begin to tag and share. Come on. I see they got my help coming in. Tanisha, what's up, hon? Come on. I need y'all to push. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Michelle, could I get you to tag and share, baby? Since your mother got a word, because I'm ready to get a word too. I'm ready. Come on, Angela. God bless you for tagging and sharing. Come on, Sheila. God bless you. Come on, for tagging and sharing. Come on. Where my snipers at in the spirit. See, you can tell the people who close to me. Look how pretty Diamond. She's tagging 15 people at one time. Come on, Quan Baker. They're going to see my help. My help coming. My snipers, they jumping on. Come on, I'm talking about shooting down demons in this season. Come on, Lakeisha is still on. Come on, Katrina is still tagging. Come on, my help is here. Uh, Prophetess, if you are on, if you can just comment below, you're on. Come on, I need you to keep tagging, I'll beat you. Come on, I, Terrell, I'm so proud of you. You have been tuning in every night. I'm so proud of you, babe. Come on. Thank you for tagging and sharing. Lorraine, you too. I'm proud of you. You've been tuning in every night. Come on. I need y'all tagging and sharing. Hold on. Please don't send me any requests to come on because it's only one person coming on on tonight. Come on. I need you to push a little bit for me, Trinette. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Prophetess, if you are on... If you can just comment below that you are on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Come on. There's a push. Okay. I see Tiffany just jumped on. Bowman, I love you so much. Come on. I love you. I see Arthur Janae just jumped on. Come on. There go my taggers and sharers coming in. Come on. I'm glad she your sister, uh, Shay. Could I get you to tag and share? Hunky, come on. Thank you. I thank you for going to uh, share. Come on. Come back in and start tagging. Let me get ready to introduce the prophets on tonight, the woman of God who is coming to bless us. I'm talking about the woman of God who I, 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 oh, Jesus. I thank God for her to take for her taking the time to even hear from God. A uh, woman of God, I added you. All you got to do is get approved. Uh, I just added you on the live. I'm just waiting for you to get approved. Come on. Oh, Jesus. When I tell you with this revival, I bought on all new people, all new people. And when I tell you they heavy hitters, they are heavy hitters. Come on. Hold on. Okay. okay uh, Prophet Sonia, could you send me a request to come on? Yeah, I bought, I bought on a bro. I bought on 25 new heavy hitters because God is doing a new thing. Come on, very quickly. Come on. I see Miss Trees is on. Come on, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna send it again now. Prophet Sonya, I just sent it again. Come on, Kawana, I need you coming in, tagging and sharing. I just sent you another request to come in. And it's it's telling me it's adding you right now. So I think you got to get approved. Okay, and, and this is crazy, you guys, because I just bought her own not even 30 minutes ago for a test run. Uh, Prophet, that's how, listen, that's how you know when the word about to be good because the devil don't want her to get on. That's what I'm telling you. Prophet Sonia, could you send me a request to come on? Could you send me a request to join my live at the bottom, the button at the bottom? Because I tried to add you twice. Come on. I thank y'all for y'all patience. Come on. I need y'all praying right now. Terrell, thank you for continuing to tag and share. Okay. So, Prophet Sonia, I'm seeing now when you comment, you don't have the green button. So, what you got to do is log out of Facebook and log back in and come back on the live. And it'll let me send you a request. Log off and log back in. Um, um, Trinette, let me try to bring you on really quickly. You don't have to get in the camera. I just want to make sure it's her end and not mine. Hold on. Um, Pretty Diamond, let me try to bring you. Y'all don't got to get in the camera. I just need to make sure. Okay. Okay. Okay, sis. Yeah, it's her end. Okay, it's her end. Okay, yes, woman of God, it's your end. So I'm waiting. 
waiting for Prophet Sonia. When you log out and log back on, just comment below. You are on. You guys continue to tag and share and invite. Because I promise y'all, y'all about to be blessed uh, by this woman of God here. Uh, Miss Treats, God bless you for coming in, tagging and sharing. Monique, God bless you for coming in, tagging and sharing. No, we're not doing it. Listen, the other night this happened with Prophetess Kim Cox. And y'all see when she got on, when she finally got on from her husband page, how she went ham. The devil be upset when he know them heavy hitters coming on. I just brought the woman that got on 30 minutes ago for a test run. Just hold on. We're going to get this. I'm telling y'all, wait. Because this, this word going to be for you. No woman of God. It's not. It's a, let's see. Let's see. Come on, Holy Spirit. Oh, we bind and break any distractions right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, Sabrina. It's telling me I'm adding you again, woman of God. It's telling me I'm adding you. Is there another phone? Jesus Christ, man. I hate when it do this. It's telling me I'm adding you. Hold on. You sent me a request um, twice. It's just say adding. Okay, let me try this. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. Let me see. Um, let me try something. I want to just... Trinette, approve it. Okay, so Trinette, you can hear me? Trinette, can you hear me? Okay, it, it connected me to her. Okay, so woman of God, it's on your end. She just sent me a request to come on and it brought her right on. Hold on. Okay, I'm adding you again. You sent the request, Prophet Sonia. I'm adding you again. You guys, please, please, please do not jump off. Do not jump off. Do not jump off. It's just saying adding. Jesus Christ. Come on. I need the prayer warriors praying. Uh, Prophet, is there any other page or if you are coming on from your phone could you try coming on from your computer or laptop or something like that another device another device because it's allowing me to bring everybody on and it does that sometime hold on let me try to um okay let me try this uh, okay i'm sending you a request to come on again it's just saying adding Come on, I thank y'all for y'all patience on tonight and we're gonna let time go over. So don't even worry about it. We just gotta get the woman of God on. That's what she might have to do. Uh, woman of God, you might gotta try to come on from somebody else's Facebook. Do you get what I'm saying? You might gotta come on from somebody else's Facebook. Uh, the other night, Prophetess Kim, it wouldn't let her come on, but as soon as she uh, came on from her husband's Facebook, it let her right on. So I don't know what's going on. Pretty Diamond says, thank you for tagging. Hold on. Hold on. She got another page, y'all. Let's see. Okay, I'm adding the other page now. Okay, it's saying joining. Move the camera around a little bit, Prophet, as you're lagging a little bit. We, you might got to move the phone around. We got you on, Can but you there now? we go. Yes, good God of my. Can you hear me now? Yes. Prophet is yes, 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 yes. Uh oh my God. I I I know you gotta have an awesome word for us because the enemy just didn't even want you to get on from your other page. Um, I'm going right. to back up so I can let me introduce to y'all the, the prophetess. I thank God for your ears, woman of God, because I was going through it the other day and nobody knew it, not even my own husband. 
and you messaged me when I was down in Texas, just came from ministry and the word for, was confirmation. I am going to back up prophetess so you can let God have his way so I can tag and share. I'm not thinking about the time because it took us a minute to build for you to come on. So please let God use you. We are on night six of our 25 night social media revival. I suffered for this. Let me introduce prophetess Sonya. Hey, God bless you. I'm glad to be on tonight. We know that God is about to speak a mighty word. What I need you to do right now, as a woman of God said, I need you to tag your friend, your sister, yes. your family. There is a word from the Lord tonight. There is a word, and this has never happened. And then I do Facebook Lives all the time. So listen, I'm telling you, my God, I'm telling you tonight that God is about to speak a word in season god is about god is yes. moving the distractions that was a prophetic indi indication that god is removing all distractions in this season listen i have a word god gave me tonight and i thank god for dr mcfadden bringing me on and if god began to speak to me as i began to ask him what do you want me to say to your people what do you want me to declare to your people and the lord said to me he said sanja i need you to tell my people that this is the season that i am releasing oh, the last jesus let me, let me say it again the lord began to tell me he said sanja i want you to begin to talk to them about how this is the season that i'm gonna make them last i need everybody tonight as i begin to prop Prophetically release this word, amen, that God is releasing a laugh. God is Jesus. about to make you laugh. You cried, my God. You've been frustrated. You've been depressed. You've been overwhelmed. But I'm telling you by the spirit of the Lord tonight that God's about to make you laugh. And this is not a laugh that this is not a laugh that's going to be just for a moment. This is not a laugh that's just going to be for a season. But God said, I am bringing you into a place come happily after. let me say it again god said i'm bringing you to a place called happily ever after and people will wonder how did she get here how did he get here what brought them here just like the revival i suffered yes god God, I suffered. So we're going to begin to look at the scriptures tonight. I mean, it's three scriptures that I'm going to go to. I'm going to start out in Genesis 17, Genesis 17 and 17. There you find in the scripture, you find the story of Abraham. Y'all know the story story of Abraham and Abraham, amen, uh, giving you a back history. I, I want to say that Abraham was faithful to mm. other people while My God. himself. Let me get said again. Abraham was faithful to everybody. He was meeting the needs of everybody. He was doing for everybody. A matter of fact, he cared for his nephew. And he didn't have a child of his own. The very thing that you've been doing yeah, yeah, for yeah, yeah. others, but yet lacking in your life, God said, I'm about to make Ooh, it happen Jesus. in yours. There are some people on here tonight, you've been looking out for everybody else. You've been doing for everybody else, but yet yourself, you were suffering and needing the very thing that you were giving mm -hmm. everybody else. So Abraham, we find in Genesis 17, if you got a Bible, an app, I want you to run there real quick. What God does for Abraham, Dr. Shakira is something so powerful and prolific. What he does is he has a conversation with Abram. Abram, he said, Abram, he, he said, I need to talk to you now. Abraham, Abram at this time was 99 mm -hmm. years old. 99. Nine is, the, nine is the last number in numerical order before the digits yes. begin to repeat yes, God. Let me say that again. Nine is the ending number that you come into before the digits double and then they begin to repeat themselves. So Abraham had come to the end of himself. Can I prophesy to you tonight and tell you that God is bringing yes, you to the God. end of your thinking? God is bringing you to the end of Ooh. your doubt. God is bringing you to the end of your frustration. I need somebody to type tonight. I'm coming Ooh. to the end of myself. Ah, God, I need you to type tonight. I'm coming to the end of myself. I'm coming to the end of crying. I'm coming to the 
the end of being disappointed. God help me tonight. I'm coming to the end. Oh my God, of the lies that I've been Jesus. telling myself. So God goes to Abraham. He said, now, Abram, I need to talk to you. And I need to tell you, first of all, I need to tell you what's getting ready to happen. I need to tell you, I'm getting ready to reward you because you care for your nephew. What happens, Dr. Shakira, when God watches you? When yes, God. Right what happens when God comes and reminds us, I saw you. I saw you. When Jesus, you come on. I saw you when you didn't think. I saw you when you gave. Yourself. Lord God, you. I need to prophesy to the 200 of you all tonight that God said, I saw you. I saw you when you didn't faint. I saw you when you could have retaliated. I saw you. Woo! So he tells Abraham, he said, listen, I'm coming to you as a strong God. Mm -hmm. and I, I need to tell you this. I'm getting ready to make a covenant with you, Abram. He said, I'll make a covenant between us and I'll give you a huge Jesus. family. Now, the very thing that Abram never had, the thing he was about to receive. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. All right, let me tell you, you all here tonight and there are some things that you've been praying about. There are some things you've been asking for. There are some things you've been believing God for. And Come you on. Never had it. But you took care of those that have it. you took care of he said abram i'm gonna give you a huge family and when abram heard this dr shakira the bible said he was mm. overwhelmed god is bringing you to a season that's literally gonna make yes, god. you that's literally gonna blow your mind who am i talking to tonight what happens when the very thing you thought that you would never have yes. to show up lord god said to him he said this is my covenant to you he established a covenant with abram he said i'm gonna make you a father of many nations now he didn't have he only had ishmael he had Ishmael. He said, but listen, I'm going to make you a father of many nations. There's one thing that God going to do for you that's going to set you Lord God. for the rest of your life. He said, I'm going to make you a father of many nations. Watch this. Here we go. This is ready to bless you. He said, but one thing I'm getting ready to do, I'm getting ready to change. Yeah, 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 yeah. And a lot of you are here tonight god said to me dr shakira he said tell the people i got to change their name that their name yes, match their man god let me say it again god said your name must match your lord god oh, my, 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 my. Said, wait a minute your your name can't be abram no more because in abram there was a mindset of little in abram there was a mindset of discouragement in abram there was a mindset of fruitlessness but now i'm about to baptize you with a new identity i'm telling you tonight that while you are on here god said i'm changing yeah, yeah. your name i'm changing your mindset i'm changing your outlook your perception in this season oh, is oh, he said, so, Abram, i must change I, there's a lot of you on here tonight God said who you are tonight Amen after you get out this live You will not be that person oh, no more Who you were tonight When you got on this live That's not yes. who you are anymore Because God said your name Your faith must match your manifestation So after God does all this The Bible said that Abram laughed But the laugh that Abram had The first laugh It was not a laugh of doubt He was Overwhelmed, he laughed in wonder because what he was saying was, How in the world, a man old as me, getting ready to bear forth a son? Because let me tell you something what God was about to do for Abraham was not natural. What God was about to do when God shows up with the supernatural, it never measures yes. out in man time. 
When God shows up with the supernatural, it is not to be comprehended, glory to God, with a natural mindset. So what God does is he waits until we run out of our natural thinking. He waits until we run out of our natural mindset. He waits until we run out of all of our ways and our formulas and, he's, and, his, and our strategies. He said, now I'm going to do something supernatural. The reason that you are here tonight, because God said, I'm about to make you laugh in wonder. I'm about to do something. I need you to type tonight. God is about to do it supernaturally. I need you to get that faith tonight. God said, I'm moving you from where you are to match mm. your manifestation. But now you need to understand that this ain't natural. So when I do what I said that I would do years ago, it's getting ready to happen. God said it's going to be yeah, supernatural. God. Because anything, catch this man and woman of God. Whenever God drops something in you supernatural, it must stay in the My supernatural God. ring. What ha listen, what is decreed in the supernatural Jeez. must stay in the supernatural. <sighs> you cannot downsize, come on, or water down the ram mm. of the supernatural. So Abram, this is God dealing with, let, let me go here. Can I prophesy this to you? God first, Dr. Shakira, with man he dealt with the order if we look at this god now getting ready to establish family let me go here god is saying tonight for those of you that's not married this free for those of you glory to god that's been believing god for order in your family god deals with the man first god didn't go to sarah he went to the man so let me tell you though those of you that's believing god for a god man to come in your life he's bringing that man to set Whoa. up your family there are some of you on here tonight, you've been praying for mates. I, I won't even go say this. But God said to tell them, Dr. Sandra, he said, tell them, daughter, that I'm getting ready to send them the man of God. I'm getting ready to send them a man that's going to match Lord. their manifestation. I'm getting ready to send them husband that's going to match their destiny. I'm getting ready to send you a man that's going to match your purpose. I'm getting ready to send you a man that's going to match your identity. God had to first deal with Abel. Mm -mm -mm his name to Abraham before he ever could go to his wife. Can I prophesy to you tonight? Can I tell you that while you praying for your oh, husband, God did Oh, my, 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 my. Can I talk to the married women Ooh. on here tonight that said, God, you know what? I'm believing you. God to keep praying for him because mm. I'm moving on him. After God deals with Abraham, the Bible said that Abraham laughed within himself mm. in wonder. Right after God dealt with Abram, gave him his identity, gave him his instructions, gave him his blueprint for his next. Come on here. He did the next thing that Abram do now, Abraham does, he go and minister to his wife. You find in Genesis 18, we running. We find in Genesis 18, this is the second laugh, Genesis 18 and 12. Run that real quick, Genesis 18 and 12. They're talking. Now God, God didn't deal with Abraham, changed his name to match his manifestation. Now he gets to, a, uh, to, to Sarah. Sarah is outside listening to the man talk. Listening to Abraham talk to his friends. The Bible said that Abraham and Sarah were old by this time. Very old. Sarah was far past the age for having uh -huh. Can I tell you this next miracle that God's about to do in out your of my, life is out of your my hands, hands, Lord. Jesus. See, the Bible said she was old by this time, past the flower of her age. It was nothing she could do in natural humanity to mm -hmm. have a baby. Mm -hmm. I tell you tonight, I need to pause and I need to tell you to take your hands out of it. Ooh. I need to stop and tell you tonight, take your hands off of it, take your, take your hands off of it, take your hands out of it, and take your flesh. Lord Jesus. The Bible said, watch this, Sarah laughed, here we here go to laugh. Sarah laughed within herself. She, was, she, she knew that she was intimate with her husband, there was no way he owed, she owed, that couldn't happen. So she laughed within herself. She 
laughed. Abraham laughed in wonder. Sarah laughed. Jesus. See, Sarah. Sarah already dealing with Higo Ishmael. She already got a son. And I'm sure that she had some emotional distress going on. I'm sure that there were mm. some wounds there. Oh, uh, God, oh God, my, my, my. I, I need to prophesy to you tonight, glory to God, that God mm. said, I'm dealing with your wounds. I'm dealing with the wounds that you've been suffering with. I'm dealing with that pain that you've been suffering with. Here's this woman sitting here looking at her husband. He already had a son. Wait a minute. And she initiated him messing with the woman that gave him the son. And so now he she is old in disbelief and was scared my god who am i talking to tonight sarah was laughing one but she was scared and she really didn't want to be disappointed that's what some of you are tonight god i feel you you dealing with disappointment you done looked at everybody else get married you done looked at everybody else buy a house you done looked at everybody else have a baby you done looked at everybody else go on trips you looked at everybody else have their own business and now you laughing at your you laughing within yourself because god no. said now i'm getting ready to oh, do it Jesus. For you. i'm getting ready to do it for you I'm getting ready to perform it for you, Tiandra. I'm getting ready to perform it for you, Tarot. I'm getting ready. Yeah, yeah, you done looked at some. I know. You didn't look at somebody else and said, look at them. I ain't jealous, but I show what Jesus. Jesus. Wow. I show I've been waiting a long time, God. And can I, I prophesy this to you? It's go. Oh, good God Almighty. I just heard the Lord say. It's going to happen in time. Yes, you to enjoy. God. Woo, let me say that again. The Lord said it's going to happen in time enough for you to enjoy. You're not going to be old. You're not going to be weary. You're not going to be worn. No, 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 no. God said, I'm going to give you your strength back to enjoy. So here it is. Sarah laughed within herself. She laughed, really, y'all. Can I tell you something? She laughed because she was really scared to believe God. She Lord, didn't want to get her hopes God. up. Can I prophesy? Yeah, that's what some of you mm -hmm. are right now. Yeah, I want to believe you, but I, I don't want to get my hopes up. I, I, I want to believe you, but I'm too scared because I've been disappointed. And, and this last, I mean, I can't. There's some of you on here tonight that you're saying, I can't take another. Oh, my, 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 Jesus. Mm, 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 mm. God, I can't take another letdown. Come on, come on, come on. God, God I, it, oh, God, yes, Lord, I heard you. The Lord said, Sandra, I want you to address, I want you to address the part of them that said, really, God, I don't really want to hear no more prophecy. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I don't want to hear another word because the last word you gave me, I'm still waiting on it. But can I prophesy to you tonight, beloved? Can I tell you tonight, glory to God, that in this atmosphere, glory to God, you suffered for what you Ooh, ready to Jesus. Uh, I said you suffered for what you're getting ready to see. And God said in this season, there will be no disappointment. The Lord said in this season, there will be no letdowns. The Lord said in this season, come on, I need you to lift your face. God said in this season, the tears that you cry, they will not be tears of pain, but they will be tears of joy. Pretty diamond, God said, I'm turning your season around. God said, this is the season that you're about to laugh. God said, oh my God. God said, this is the season that you're about to laugh. God said, this is the season that you're about to dance and God said this is the season that you are about to shout. God said I'm clearing the dance floor just for you and God said this time it's going to be happily ever after. God said this time this ain't just a moment. When God said to tell you pretty diamond this is a mm. life move. Mm -hmm. uh, God I need somebody to shout this is a life move. Scripture. The last scripture. So here it is. Herself like <laughs> Yeah, right. Can I kill that spirit tonight? Yeah, right. Can I kill the sarcasm?
fantastic spirit. Can I kill the night, the spirit of disappointment? Come on. There, there's about 81 of you all on here tonight. And you in a season where you uh. said, God, really? I don't need you. But please, no more prophecy. <laughs> you said, please, no more prophecy. I, I wish I had a real church right here. I'm over it. I'm over it. Yeah, I know. But God, God said, let me tell you something. I am not the God. Yeah, Lord. Let you Lord. Know. That I'm not the God. Come on. I need I, I need you to be real tonight. I need those on here that say you talking to me, Sandra. You talking to me, Peace. Dr. Sandra. You talking to me, Prophet Sandra. You talking to me. Yeah, I love God. I believe in prophecy. But I got so much over my head. Yeah, and I'm laughing within myself. When you stand up and hear a prophet, you be like, hmm, yeah, okay, yeah. I, listen, and here's the thing. Here's the here's the double barrel. You know, you know, listen. This is how you know the devil of old face lie when you can stand there and say this I heard that before you've heard it before and god said i'm trying to reignite your faith i heard that before yeah you heard it before because god yeah, is Lord. about you you heard it before because god said i got to echo this in your spirit mm -hmm. so you're gonna get prophecy tonight you're gonna say yep i heard that Everybody my, my God. Everybody ain't lying. It's just the devil don't want you to grab. It's just the devil don't want you to understand that you're on the cusp of your breakthrough. It's just the devil don't want you to understand, baby. Right in your next Jesus. breath is a breakthrough. Let me say it again. In your next breath is a breakthrough. I know some of you, some of you really supposed to be in the bed. You pass your bedtime. Come on. You got to go to work at three o'clock in the morning. You got to pull a double tomorrow. But baby, God said you had to be on this live because I'm getting ready to make you laugh. You didn't cry long enough. And I'm ready to shut up the road. Ra -ba 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 -ko -saya. Woo. Me while I was praying, the Lord said, Sandra. What happens when you doing the right thing? Ah, oh, that was good. But what happens when you doing the right thing, but with your uh. own spirit? You laughing, but you laughing mm. like you don't believe me. Yeah, you laughing, but you laughing like how in the world this gonna happen to me? Can I tell you this? Listen, catch this in the spirit. You ain't worth that much. God gonna turn around Jesus. and lie to you. I don't want to lie to you for. I'm not lying to you. Are they better than you? God wants you to know tonight, man and woman of God, son and daughter, you just as significant and important yes, as God. anybody else. you to type right now i'm important to god mm, mm, mm. i need to see it i'm important to god god loves me enough to come see about me god loves me enough to deal with dr mcfadden and disturb her day for the next 25 days and said do Lord, this revival please. i need my people to hear a word from the lord mm. i need my people to be re-inspired i need my people to be reignited god loves you enough. come on i'm important to god come on i'm important to god Come on, I see you, Tiffany. I see you, Kawana. I'm important to God. I see you, Sabrina. Come on, you getting your faith up tonight. You get, yeah, you getting your expectation up tonight. God is about to perform a wonder in your life. God is about to make you laugh. God said, I'm in recycling your tears. God said, I've seen you in the storm. And God said, I'm coming to see about you. Ah, God, we need to give God praise tonight. For this is my season of laughter. This is my season of rain. This is my season of happening god said when israel will turn again to their captivity god is turning you back to the thing that tried to lord destroy. jesus my mighty god get ready to ride now here we go we're going over the last scripture genesis 21 and 16. see first the last that's action second the last about action. 
Genesis 21 and 16. I'm going to show you what they get ready to do. Genesis 21, 16. It said, and Abram got up early in the morning. Glory to God. In this scripture, it shows where the Bible said that, that, that Sarah, glory to God, I wrote down the wrong scripture, but the Bible says that Sarah now says that God has given her a son. And she says, now you will laugh uh. with me. I said, first they will laugh at you. Second, they will laugh about you. But then God said, I'm bringing you into a season where they can mm. laugh with you. Sarah went from doubting God to seeing God manifest mm. a promise in her life. And that's where you are tonight. God said, the thing that I told you that I was going to do, the thing that I said that I would perform over your life, I have not lied to you. For God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that I should repent. If I said it, I shall perform it. This is your season mm, to last. to minister prophetically I need to that spirit that I've had Jesus. that no no not crying tears of celebration some of you right now you are in one of the worst seasons of your life but I'm telling you God to you about to have joy Woo. in July God to you about to jump in celebration in July God said, I'm taking you from the place of wondering how it's going to happen, down that it's going to happen. See, let me tell you something. Abraham laughed by himself. Sarah laughed by herself in fear. But Dr. McFadden, the scripture says in Genesis 21, they came together and they laughed together. They celebrated together. Everybody, you could be in the same house with a person. And y'all could be in the Oh house. yeah. Oh yeah. You could be you could be going through something. You could be so close, but so far. Wow. You close wow. Abraham didn't tell Sarah what was going on in him. He was laughing. Because he, because see, the Bible said the reason I know that Abraham laughed was not about being doubtful. The Bible said that Abraham had faith and it was counted unto him for righteousness, that he never doubted God. But he was astonished, he was amazed. God is about to wow you. I got a fiamo shanda like kianda. I said, they never shunned your coast of my God in yanda and shabby kianda. Brittany, I've got a rape for God, so I'm about to wow you. I'm about to blow your mind. I'm bringing you into a season. The Lord said to tell you, Brittany, God said to tell you that the last three years has been an emotional roller coaster ride. But the Spirit of the Lord said to tell you tonight that I am turning your season of pain into a season of profit. Let me tell you this tonight. Some of you on here tonight, and the Lord said to tell you that I'm gonna take your painful story and turn it into a mm. profitable game. There are things that you have God is God said, I'm gonna turn your crying to promise. The Lord said to tell you, I'm gonna turn your pain into profit. The Lord said to tell you yes i'm on god said to tell you that i'm gonna turn your distress into dollars oh yes he is some of you've been praying for success some of you've been praying for prosperity some of you've been praying for wealth and god said i'm gonna take the very thing that you've been through yes. and i'm gonna make it bless you i'm gonna take the very thing that made you cry listen what if what if abram allowed Absent the song singers trying to be bitter and knowing that he would have missed being a father of nations. Don't you let what you lack cause you to lose what the Lord has for you. 
Don't you be so bitter. Devil is right there. I felt that. The Lord said, Sandra, I want you to minister right there. Because there's about 17 people on here tonight. Uh. You're bitter. You're bitter because it haven't happened for you. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. That's you. Come on. I like a real church. If that's you, glory to God, I want you to type better. Come on, better. God says about 17 of you. You better. You better. You better. You better. You better. I've looked at everybody else get it. I've looked at everybody else. Yeah, I've looked at everybody else shine. I've looked at everybody else walking their season. I've looked at everybody else married. I've looked at everybody else birth out their business. And, and come on, I'm bitter. I'm bitter. Come on, I need a real church. I'm bitter. I'm bitter. I'm bitter. I'm bitter. I'm bitter. I'm bitter. Come on, there it is. I'm bitter. Come on, I'm bitter. There go one. I'm bitter. I'm bitter. But God said, I'm breaking your bitterness because it won't stop mm -hmm. your blessing. I'm breaking your bitterness. I'm destroying your bitterness. Oh, it's more than one on you. There it is. I've been bitter. Glory to God. I've been, I've been wanting to laugh. Glory to God. I've been wanting to be happy. Oh, God, oh, yeah, there it is. I'm angry. I'm bitter. Come on, I'm mad. Oh, God. Come on. God said, I'm healing you tonight. You will not sit on this live and don't laugh. You won't be on this live. Glory to God. You can't rejoice. Glory to God. Oh, you want to be happy, but you can't be happy. The enemy don't want you to be happy because he wants you to think it ain't going to happen for you. But the devil, he is a liar. Come on, there it is. It's breaking tonight. That spirit of bitterness, uh, that spirit of anger, come on, that spirit, glory to God, of disgust, come on, there it is, uh, it's breaking tonight, God said so you are coming into a season, uh, called you're going to be happy, you're going to be able to look at your life and not regret now, what else? <laughs> Mishandle the season of testing. It's just been a season of testing. Come on. It's just been a season of testing. One thing I love about Abraham, he, Abraham, he never mishandled. Mm. Uh, it wasn't his own son, but he Lord, handled him as a son. Jesus. And God said, watch this, because you didn't mishandle lot in this season of lack, I'm ready to bring you to into a whole lot. Jesus. God, I said, I felt that. Uh, let me say it again to you. God said, because you, dis you didn't mishandle your season of lack, come on, he's still healing that bitterness. I'm getting ready to bring you into a whole lot. Uh, God, they're about terror. You get ready to come into a whole lot. Terror, God said, I'm healing you and your body. I'm getting ready to prophesy. We're getting ready to ride. Glory to God. He said, I'm bringing you into a whole lot. Come on. Uh, Berthina, I'm bringing you into a whole lot. Nate, I'm bringing you into a whole lot. Kawana, I'm bringing you into a whole lot. Come on. Glory to God. I need somebody to type last. Come on, as you type laugh, God, there it is, pretty diamond. Come on, there it is. There it is, Avicha. There it is, Barbara. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, laugh. This is my season of lots mm. of laugh. This is my season, lots of laugh. I'm getting ready to have mm. lots of happiness. I'm getting ready to have lots of wealth. Oh, God, I'm getting ready to have lots of territory. I'm getting ready to have lots of favor. I'm getting ready to have lots of wealth. I'm getting ready to have lots of healing. Come on, that's it. Uh, the lot, oh, God. Uh, God, I just heard the Lord said, Dr. Shakira, we just stepped into the realm. Yes, of God. Listen, Dr. Shakira is a relative. And, and, and when a home get ready to be built, it's mm. built on a lot. Yeah. God said, I'm building your life. Yes, God. Lot. God said, I'm giving you lots, lots of land, Jeez. lots of territory, lots of opportunity, lots of doors. God said, welcome to the land. <laughs> God, I had to hit the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, God, come on. That's it. Lots of land. Glory to God. Lots. Come on. Come on. He's the Lord of the lots. He says, Sandra, tell him I'm the Lord of yes. the lot and I'm the Lord of the land. Glory to God. I'm the Lord of the lots and I'm the Lord of the land. So Abraham and Sarah, they've had their own season. Some of you on here tonight, many of us, we've had our mm. own kind of laughter. 
We had our laughter of distress. We've had we we've had the last. This is what a lot of you have had. You've had the last. And you've had the last of crying. But the Lord said, Sanja, I want you to tell them tonight that I'm bringing them into the Genesis 21 mm. laugh. The, the laugh that the same people fed you. They're about mm. to laugh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're going to look at you. They said, look, the Lord. They're going to look at you and they're going to say, yeah, it didn't look like I was going to do it. They do. The Lord is turning the hearts and the mind of you. Yes, God. Because you've been looking and you've been saying, oh, it's looking a little shady. Said, no, I'm the God mm -hmm. of the light. The Lord said, no, I will not let you go out like that. No, I won't. I won't. But Trina, I'm not going to let you go out like that, Kendra. I'm not going to let you go out like that. So God said tonight on this day six of this revival, God said on this day six of this revival, the Lord said to tell y'all that I'm bringing you into the season of the last yes, and last. Where you 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 won't be in an emotional roller coaster. No, you won't be in a season where one minute you up, the next minute you're down. No, God said, I'm bringing you into a season of fulfillment. I'm bringing you into a season, oh God, a prophetic manifestation. I'm bringing you into a season of destiny. I'm bringing you into a season of purpose. And God said, I'm going to take everything that you try. Jesus. I need you to type laugh. Come on, there it is. There it is. God said, I'm filling your heart with expectation again. Come on, there it is. Dr. McFadden, you're going to begin to get testimony as early as tomorrow morning. You're going to begin to get testimonies, how people went back and they got reconsidered for some things. They went back. You're going to go back and pick up your dreams. They're about to make you laugh. The thing that you drop, you're going to pick up and profit. Let me say it again. The thing that you drop, some of you get ready to go back to the doctor and they gave you one diagnosis, but God said, you're going to come back and your report yes. going to be healed. Healing is on this line tonight. There's a woman on here now and the Lord said, there are fibroid tumors. Glory to God. And you got them on both sides of your ovaries. But the Lord said, the left side is larger. And the Lord said, to tell you tonight, God yes. said, I'm shrinking. I feel the glory. The Lord said, to tell you that I'm shrinking the fibroid tumors. God said, they've ran in your family. And if that's you, I need you to say, that's me. They've ran in your family. Glory to God in the spirit of the Lord said to tell you glory to God you have a younger sister and the Lord said to tell you tonight glory to God that I am stopping ovarian yes. cancer yeah 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 I'm stopping ovarian cancer glory to God those ovarian cysts I'm drying them up tonight glory to God the spirit of the Lord is on here tonight glory to God and yep 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 but yep yep there are two women on here in particular you've been worrying about cancer in your body. You've been worried. I want to expose the devil tonight. If that's you, I need you to say, that's me. I need you to say, that's me. Why that healing anointing is flowing? I need you to say, that's me. That's me. And the Lord said to tell you tonight that it will not take you out. The Lord said to tell you tonight that will not be named among you. I'm going yes. to make you laugh. Come on. She said, I just went to the doctor last week. Glory to God from stage three. Come on here. Come on. There's a testimony. There are two women on here tonight. The spirit mm. of torment having you to think that cancer is in your body. But I stand as a prophet tonight that there it is. There's one of them. Thank you, April. You're healed tonight. The devil is a liar. That spirit of torment will not bet you no more. That spirit of torment The second one, God said, Not no more after tonight. God said, You will not worry, you will not walk in fear. Come on, Sarah laughed within herself because she feared that there was disappointment. You've been laughing within yourself because you fear that you're going to get a diagnosis from the devil. The devil is alive. You are healed tonight. God said, I'm touching your ovaries tonight. The Lord said, I'm touching your breast tonight. Say the spirit of the Lord. Cancer will not be named among you. Say Jesus, the spirit of the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I hear the name Carolyn. I hear the name Carolyn. 
I hear the name Carolyn. Carolyn, glory to God. If you know a Carolyn, I need you to say, that's me. Because the Lord is saying tonight that I am here and healing Carolyn's body. Glory to God. Carolyn is getting a healing tonight. Say the spirit of the Lord. Carolyn, Carolyn name is, yeah, that's it. Carolyn name. Carolyn, we call your name out tonight mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. I need you to type laugh. To Andrew McDonald, the spirit of the Lord said to tell you, go back mm -hmm. and try again. Teandra McDonald, the Lord said, what disappointed you two years ago? God said, it's about to give you joy. Somebody said, that's my mother. Glory out Teandra. The spirit of the Lord said that what disappointed you two years ago, God said, it's about to bring you joy. God said, it's about to bring you joy. This is your season of joy, say the spirit of the Lord. Lakeisha Thomas, the spirit of the Lord said, I, I see you praying for little ones. I see you praying for a boy in particular, and the spirit of the Lord said to know that I have heard your cry and that I'm yes. answering your cry. And the Lord said to tell you that this is a season that I'm yes. moving in your family. God said, this is the season that I'm moving in your family. Say the spirit of the Lord. There are several of you on here tonight and the Lord said to tell you, you've been crying, glory to God, you've been heavy because you have loved ones behind bars. But the spirit of the Lord said to tell you tonight that they are going to get an early release, glory to God. The spirit of the Lord said to tell you that they're are two of you on here tonight that you got a loved one that's getting ready to come up for parole and the spirit of the lord said they will not be denied in this season you will contact the woman of god yes. and they will let her know that the lord has made you laugh the lord has done it again i feel the glory tonight god has done it again come on if that's you and you better believe in god for your loved ones being free or free from prison god mm. said i'm gonna do it it's done come on it's done it's Jesus, done. Jesus. There was someone on here, your nephew. Your nephew is serving time because he was guilty by association. And the Lord said to tell you that I'm going to cut his sentence mm. in half. And he feared for his life. He didn't want to snitch mm. because he feared for his life. Ooh, God, I felt that. Had time. Say, most of but the Lord said to tell you tonight to tell him all I want is a yes. Come on, shit. God said I want is a yes. And the Lord said to tell you to tell him that I, I put him in prison to save his life. Oh, God. I put him there to preserve him. You've been praying for your nephew, but God said, I put him there to preserve him. And God said, I'm about to give him a way out. Come on, that's it. God said, I'm about to give him a way out. Glory to God. God said, I'm about to give him a way out. Somebody mm. shout, I'm about to laugh. I'm about to laugh. They laughed at me. Now they're about mm. to laugh with me. They laughed at me because I believe God. They laughed at me because it looked like God right. wasn't going to do it. They laughed at me, glory to God, because it looked like it was never going to happen. Everybody got blessed. But God said they're going to come back now and laugh with you because they're going to see that the blessing is going to yes. be in your hand. They're going to see the manifestation. Glory to God. Come on. Come on, somebody type, I'm about to laugh. That's it. I'm about to laugh. Come on, grab that anointing. I'm about to laugh. Come on, grab that anointing. There it is. Grab it, grab it, grab it. I'm not bitter no more. I'm not sad no more. Come on, get your joy back. There's a certain realm of faith that you must be in to grab and measure manifestation. I'll say it again. There's a certain realm of faith and I, I, God, I'm pushing you there. There's a prophet that pushes yes. you right. Come on. Come on. There's a certain realm of faith. There's a certain realm of faith. There's a certain realm of faith. Come on. Get there. Get there. Get You're not going to doubt God. Get there. God said, I've been waiting on you. I'm about to drop this word. It's waiting. The Lord said, there are some things. That I cannot say to you now until you get to that mm. realm of faith. There are certain oh, realms of Jesus. faith that release certain conversations from God. Come on. I see you, Divani. Come on, let me say it again. There are certain realms of faith. Somebody say, I'm getting there tonight. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. That's it. Come on. I'm getting there. I'm ready to laugh now. I'm getting there. Come on. I'm pushing you there. Come on. Phyllis, I see you. Amen. I'm pushing you there. Roberta, I see you. I'm pushing you there. Come on. 
Come on, I'm pushing you. Shanita got to you, getting ready to laugh. The Lord said she needed to tell you, Shanita, in the next 21 days, God is about Jeez. to blow your mind. Jesus, man. Oh. Shanita, in the next 21 oh. days, God is about to blow your mind. And the Lord said to tell you, Shanita, that there were some things that oh. I put on hold. Mm -hmm. Mm. Getting ready to resume after the glory of the Lord. Shanita, yes. Why yes. said I paused it and then forfeit the promise? I paused it and get the promise. I made you. Shanita, the Lord said to tell you that He made you promises uh, two years ago. My, my, my. And the Lord said to tell you that between now in February the 9th, your whole life would have shift. And God said, what you've been believing me to do in nine years, God My said, I'm going to do it in nine God. years. There is an accelerated momentum. Hit this slide. Middleton, the Lord said to tell you, I'm about to give you the information that you need. The Lord said to tell you Middleton, the one with the last name Middleton. The Lord, I see some paperwork and I see God overturning some things for you. Mm -hmm. God's about to make you laugh. There's an overturning in the spirit. There's an overturning in the spirit. Come on, God's about mm -hmm. to make you laugh. Barbie, the spirit of the Lord said, get ready. I see you taking a leap. I see you taking a leap of faith. I see you taking a leap. I see you jumping out. And God yes. said, when you jump, you yes, won't God. Lord said to tell you, daughter, when you jump, you won't drown. Somebody type, I'm about to laugh. I'm about to laugh. I'm about to laugh. There's three things God said I'm going to do. I'm going to amaze you. What I'm about to do. I'm going to amaze you. I'm going to blow your mind. Sarah listened to Abraham's conversation. Can I tell you something? God said, while you're on here, People of influence my, have conversations about you. They're discussing your promise. See, it's a dangerous thing when other people can see your my, promise, but you don't God. believe it. It's a dangerous thing, Dr. Shakira. Everybody else will see your greatness, but you just don't believe mm. greatness in you. <laughs> the Lord said to tell you what I'm about to do. Lord said, what, I, what I'm about to do, it's going to blow your mind. So it, it's going to leave you in disbelief. The Lord said, I tell you, Sarah, Sarah mentality, you won't be disappointed. The Lord said, I tell you, I'm killing fear tonight. I see you, Kawana. I'm yes. killing fear tonight. I'm, I'm killing fear. The last thing God said, I'm going to do, what was a public My embarrassment. God. Yes, God. public celebration. They looked at Sarah not have a baby. They looked at Sarah and Abram raise their nephew Lot. And I'm sure they laughed at them. Wow. Look at them taking mm. care of somebody else's child. Not knowing that Sarah was suffering, serving Abram. Not a supper for this yes. lad. Somebody said, I suffered for yes, this boy. God. I suffered. This place I'm about to come into. I suffered for this happen. God's about to make you laugh. I'm bringing you into a season. Yes, God. Because I'm the God yes, of the land. I'm the Lord of the land. When you receive that word tonight, I need to type. Mm. I need you to type laugh. I need to type laugh. Come on. I need you to type laugh. I need you to type laugh. Sean Rayford, God said, you're getting ready to laugh. Lorraine, God said, within the next two days, something major going to hit your life. Some of you going to wake up. Some of you going to come into an uncontrollable laugh. Jesus, Jesus. I released an yes, uncontrollable God. laugh. I released an uncontrollable, that uncontrollable joy. Yes. this place of laughter. And it's going, let me tell you something. The Lord said, and it won't run out. The Lord said, and it won't run out. 
Amos 9 says, everywhere they look, it was blessings. Mm -hmm. Everywhere you look, yes, it's going to make you laugh. Everywhere you look, it's going to bring you joy. You're going to look at your family mm. and you're going to laugh. Because what you, you you're saying, yes, God. Afraid. You gonna look at your career. You gonna say, God, only say you did this, and you gonna laugh. You gonna look at your bank statement. In your God. You gonna laugh. You gonna look at your health. You gonna, laugh. You gonna say, Yeah, God, <laughs> only you could do this. You about to laugh. You about to laugh. Look that the spirit of the Lord said to tell you. You and about 21 other people. The Lord said he's lifting the burden. Bringing peace. He's lifting burdens tonight, look at it. God said, just rest in me. Just rest in me. Just rest. You about to lay it. Just rest. Just rest. Just rest. Just rest. Come on, there it is. That rest. That rest. Listen. Under this anointing, somebody type last. Yes. Under this anointing, I want to challenge you to sow tonight under this anointing. I want to challenge you to sow. I want to challenge you to give. Glory to God. God gave me three different offerings, and I want to challenge you. There are some of you that God wants to push tonight under this anointing. It's called an everlasting mm. seed. There is a seed that breaks breaks through time. There is a seed that breaks the order of time, and it's called everlasting. There's a seed that you can sow that a shit does an eternal Jesus. everlasting shift. I want to challenge you tonight to sow a seed of 107. A seed of 107. The everlasting seed. A seed of 107. Listen, this is the way that you can give tonight. I'm giving out one number. That number is connected to every way that you can give through Cash App, through Zelle, through PayPal, through Chime, and through Venmo. And that number is 754-246-0580. Excuse me, but the Lord just said I'm restoring someone's marriage. Oh, God. You about to lay. You about to lay. You about to lay. The Lord said to tell someone, there's a son you haven't spoke to. But God said, I'm getting ready to restore that relationship. I'm restoring that family. Listen, there are some of you on here tonight. So that's the 107, the eternal seed. The eternal seed. This is not just a moment. This is not just a night. This ain't just for a day. It's an everlasting shift. There are some of you, you are desperate tonight. For God to change your situation. Mm. You're about to laugh. You've been in disbelief. You've been saying, God, God ain't no way you're going to mm. do this for me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The Lord said, I'm destroying that mentality. You're mm. about to laugh. If you saw in that 107 tonight, listen, I want you to type eternal. Eternal. There are many of you tonight, whether you on TikTok, wherever you are, wherever the woman of God, whatever platform you're connected to, that 107. That 107. I need you to sow that tonight. There are you that there are you. There are you. The, the seed of wonder. God said, daughter, I want you to challenge them to sow a seed of $77. Mm. The wonder seed. The wonder seed. That wonder seed. You're sowing at 754-246-0580. And there are you. Oh God. She shall buy. To sow that seed of $47. That seed is going to break that Sarah mentality wow. off of you. That seed is about to release conversation, kindly conversation, kingdom conversation. But listen, isn't it something that Sarah was standing outside the tent listening to them? Discuss her womb. God is about to open your womb. There are some of you, yeah, that's it. That 107, that 77, and that 47. If you're sewing tonight, I need you to type sewing. I need you to type sewing. Those are the three levels of giving that God said it challenged the people to sow. 47, 77, and 107. I'm sowing tonight. Come on, I'm sowing. I'm getting my seed in the ground. No more sad seasons. No yeah. more frustrated seasons. Uh, yeah, yeah. No more sad seasons. He's breaking that up. You're about to laugh. You're about to laugh. You're about to laugh. 
You about to laugh. Come on. The seed of 107. I'm laughing. It's an eternal. It's an eternal. I see eternal. I'm sowing. Come on. That's it. I'm sowing. Come on. I need to see you. I'm sowing. Glory to God. I feel the anointed. I'm sowing. I'm sowing. I'm sowing. I'm sowing. There are some of you, you, you put in resumes, glory to God, for jobs. The Lord said, the reason I didn't give you that job, you're overqualified. But I got something coming better. I got something coming. That business, glory to God, that you believe in God to bless, seed into that you about to lay. You about to lay. You about to lay. Oh, yeah. You serve everybody else. You serve mm. everybody else. You take care of everybody else. But the Lord said, it Tell you, tell you, this season. Yes, God. Oh. Listen, what happens when God shows up? This season, all about you. Abram, you've taken care of a lot. I know you got issues, Mayor. This is the season of the promise. When Abraham and Sarah had their son, son Isaac and Isaac named laughter that $47 seed that you saw in the night that's My your God. seed God gave Sarah a laughter God gave Sarah something every time she looked at it it was a laughter so she named her seed laughter those of you that saw in that $47, that's your yeah. laughter seed. That $77, that's your wonder seed. My God. God gonna leave you in disbelief. The only thing you gonna be able to say is, wow. Come on, I see you. Come on, come on. 47, my eyes exceed. 77, that's my wonder seed. That 107, yeah, there are about 21 of you on here tonight that I hear God say, you need to sow that 107. You need to sow it. You need to sow it. You need to sow it. When you sow it, it's going to break some things that's been held up. When you sow it, it's going to bring you into a season of divine release and you will testify. You will testify about it. You will and I'm not talking about at the end of the year. You're going to testify mm. this month. Testify this month, the Lord has done this thing. I'm sowing. I'm getting ready to pray for you, and I'm gonna turn it back over to this woman of God. Yeah, yeah. This is the season that I have a lasting last. My crying days, I won't cry about that no more. It was a beautiful thing for God to come to Abram, change his name place of manifestation and, and he uh, paraphrases he said y'all ain't gonna have to cry about this no more something yeah some stuff you may frown at but oh. it won't be this some things may frustrate you be this. Mm -mm. that thing i'm about to deal with that that's the more you that 107 eternal seed that's 77 that 47, that's the seed. Dr. McFadden, I'm going to release this word to God that you got that on paper. There are some things that you and your husband have prayed and labored over. And God said, I'm about to stretch out your empire. And the Lord said, the hit that you have taken even these last 11 days, within these last 11 days, the Lord said to tell you it is only a distraction. The Lord said to tell you, woman of God, God said, I'm about to assign three grant writers to you. And God said, there are some things. I literally see, woman of God, I literally see you with some territory and some property. And I see you with homes. I see you with houses. I see you with prison transitional program. Glory to God. And the Lord said to tell you, woman of God, that you're not just stopping at being a realtor, but God said you will have your own brokerage. And I see you, I see you with realtors under you. Oh my Glory God. To God. I see you with realtors under oh. you. 
I see oh, you and I see them coming. I see you oh, taking people oh, glory to God that cannot go get regular jobs. And I see you taking these people and turning them into million dollar oh, my God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, this is the season. God said, before this year go out, you're going to tap into Airbnbs. And the Lord said to tell you they're going to be very profitable. Say the spirit of the Lord. There are some things that you are working on behind the scene that I would not release out of my mouth on this line. But the Lord said to tell you that next time you meet God to the negotiation will mm. be in your favor. Yeah, God, I bless you. God said the negotiation Lord, will be in God. your favor. God said, I'm dealing with him. The Lord said to tell you that there is a Jewish man that I'm dealing with. There is a Jewish man that I'm going to give you favor with. And the Lord said, you've been saying, well, God said, I'm going to give you favor in Orlando. God said, you will have property in Jacksonville. Say the spirit of the Lord. God said, get ready. I am oh, enlarging your territory. And God said, there is a conference that you're going to do, glory to God, but it's like an unchurched yes. conference that you're going to do, glory to God. And God said, my God, yeah, God said, you are a modern day Deborah, say the spirit of the Lord. So God said, get ready. God said, I'm getting ready to give you favor. Even I see there is an organization oh you're going to team up with, but at the same time, you're going to birth to bring young females into entrepreneurship. Mm. And the Lord said, you're going to bring them out of the street. Yep, yep, you're going to bring them. I see them by the mm. droves. I see, and I see all kind of high line mm. companies being in investors oh. in organization. There is an organization that you got to start. And God said, when Women gonna come from everywhere. Young women, young women are coming by the droves. There is a business that I see you and your husband, you all have been pondering about mm. doing, but hesitate. God said, go back and he God said, go back. Go back. God, to make you Thank laugh. you, Jesus. Thank you, God. This is your seed. This is you all season of yes. This is your season of yes. This is your season of yes. The Lord said to tell you between. I don't know if I told you these days, but God said to tell you between September the 11th and the 14th. God said I'm gonna blow your mind. God said get ready to be in the meeting after me. Meeting after me. Documents. This is the season of signing documents. Season. I even see you. You, you won't run it, but you are on it. I see you with mm. daycares. Daycares. There, there are businesses that God said I'm gonna give you that you will never touch or run it, but you Jesus. are. Jesus. And God said because you sacrificed. That this is the season that I'm about to see. Thank about you, you, God. Thank you, God. He said, I'm about to sit and yep. And God said, I just took that weight off your back. And God said, Thank you know what I'm talking Jesus. about. God said, I just took that Thank weight you. off your God. back. God. Thank you, Lord. I feel the Lord said, I'm going to give you ghost writers because there are books that mm. you got to mm -hmm. write. God said, get ready. The Lord said, the vision just mm. shifted. Y'all still sewing. Y'all still sewing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. The Lord said, get ready. God said, get ready. There is another mantle of entrepreneurship and wisdom coming on you, woman of God. Another mantle. There's another mantle. There's another mantle. There it is. 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 God said, I'm about to visit yes, you in a God. major way. And I'm giving you clarity. There, there is something you 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 wrestling with. You have not got all the information from, from heaven mm -hmm. to download. But God said, by the end of this revival. Yes, yes God. Oh. It'll be clear. Yes. 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 
I'm about to make you laugh, said the Spirit of the Lord. I'm about to make you laugh. Jesus, do it, God. Yes, yeah. yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm ready to make you laugh at a mm, massive, mm, mm, mm. said the Spirit of the Lord. I'm getting ready to make you laugh at a massive. Yeah, I'm saying yeah. your outlook. I'm saying uh, your name. Because your name is giving me a little bit of a little bit of a There's two angels behind you that's lifting this Ooh. burden off you. There it is. Shit! Oh my God. There it is. So mm. The Lord said there is something you'll remember this word. God said, I'm gonna put it on hold for three months. But when I come back, more in your yes, life. God. The Lord said, Don't let the pause frustrate okay. you. Three months I'm gonna pause it. Come back. Come back more faithful mm. unto you. Listen, Father God, tonight we bless you and we thank, thank you for you, this Lord. word. We bless you and we thank you thank for the anointing. I bless you and I thank you for every last person that is yes, here God. tonight. I thank you for Terrell. There was someone on her name, Terrell. Bless them. Yes, God. Them laugh. Father, I pray for every family that is represented on whatever social media outlet they're watching tonight. They have suffered for this. They suffered for this season of laughter and fulfillment that they're about to come into. Father, I thank you that you will make them wonder. They will, they will gain mm. in amazement. Father, I thank, thank you, Lord. you that they will see and hear yes. and in the promise. And most of all, Father, those that laugh yes. at them, laugh with them. Their mindset their name will make yes, their God. manifestation. We give you glory and testimony yes, will come God. from this night. And we praise you and thank you for the eternal last. We thank you for the last and last because we are about to experience you as the Lord of the yes, lots and the Lord of the last. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Back at Prophet together, Sanja, you got to tell everybody how to follow you, how they can reach you, information to book you, please. Listen, and y'all can go follow me at Sanja S. Perry. Sanja S. Perry on Facebook. Um, you can connect with me, glory to God, at SanjaDeclares at gmail.com. Sanja Declares. I'm on TikTok at Take the Rain. And I am on um, IG at Life with Sanja P. Again, Sanja Perry, Sanja S. Perry on Facebook. TikTok, Take the Rain. And then on on IG Life with Sanja P. If you want to book me, you can book me or um, email me at Sanja Declares at Gmail. Sanja S O N J A Declares at Gmail.com. Dr. Nathan, thank you for this opportunity. I thank, thank you. The blessings of the Lord. So I'm much prophetess. So I'm going to reach out to you right after this. Yes, ma'am. Bye bye. Listen. Oh, now it's going gonna be hard for me to sleep y'all oh my god i listen i don't even know what to start i don't even know what to i don't i don't even know what to say night six we walk heavy tonight oh my god this was night six of our social media revival i suffered for this prophet sanja called three seeds 107 dollars 77 dollars and 47 dollars Come on, I want you to go and sow right now to Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, Venmo. If you're sowing via Cash App, put in the full phone number, 754-246-0580 to Dr. Shakira M. Pops up. You have to put in the full phone number till you see Dr. Shakira M. The ways to give is Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, Venmo. Um, I even seen a few young ladies say they were they will sew for other young ladies. That's what it's all about. Um, another thing, people of God, um, make sure you set your alarms to 11 
p.m. Eastern Time every night. This is only night six. We're on here the next 25 nights, um, 11 p.m. Eastern Time every night. And we're going higher every single night. Uh, I want to make sure you guys get the opportunity to sow. It's Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, Venmo. If you need a invoice, text the same phone number, 754-246-0580. The word invoice with your email and the amount you want me to request. Again, text the word invoice to 754-246-0580 with the amount you want me to request your email also. So I can get you an invoice over. Um, also, you can sell through Apple Pay. Text the same number, the word Apple Pay, and you will receive a call back with the information to sell via Apple Pay. 754-246-0580. Text the word Apple Pay. Follow me on YouTube at Shakir McFat, and I upload every live video there are, um, after. Follow me on Facebook at Shakir McFat. Follow me on on Instagram at Evangelist Shakira and I mean on uh, TikTok at Evangelist Shakira and on Instagram I'm Shakira underscore the realtor I love you guys God bless you guys meet me back here tomorrow night at 11 p.m. Eastern time good night